Despite their victory at the Battle of Grande, the Kingdom Army turns around and marches for Ferdiad instead of heading south. Well, damn, to hail the arrival of the Kingdom Army, the people of Ferdiad begin to rebel. No move is made to suppress them. Instead, Cornelia directs her borrowed Imperial troops to prevent Dimitri from reaching the Kingdom capital. Hey, bitch. We're here. Take our shit back. Ferdiad. It has been a lifetime since I was here last. Oh, he's so cute looking around. Five years ago, in fact. On the day before my execution, when Dadu helped me escape from prison, I killed soldiers from my homeland, stole weapons from their corpses, and made my escape soaked in their blood. It's okay. To think this is how I would return to the city of my birth after all that has happened. You had to survive. I'm proud of you. I do not deserve that. If not for you or Rodrigue, I would still be lost. I am glad to have you at my side. From the bottom of my heart, I am forever grateful. Now hug. Let's win this, Professor. Let's all make it out alive and celebrate our victory. Of course. One day you'll love me, goddammit. The path to the castle has been cleared. We are making preparations to advance. Say the word, and we march. It's time. Yes. Let us begin. Everyone, listen well. This battle is for all that the Empire stole from us. It is a fight to reclaim the days of peace we once enjoyed. I give you but two commands. Stay alive and follow your heart. Well, my heart is for that you. That is all I ask. The gates to the Kingdom Capital are open. Join me. It is time to take back our home. That's a good speech, trying to take back our home. Fuck yeah. I thought I would see oh, you God again, damn. little princeling. <laughs> so stubborn. It must run in your family. Your eyes look scary. Cornelia, the city is overrun with insurrection. It seems to be in response to our enemy's arrival. If we do nothing, our army may suffer damages. We should suppress the citizens immediately. <laughs> Just the way she's the staring at you. rebelling? <laughs> Let them do as they please. Or are you saying you have enough soldiers to divide our forces? Quite bold of you, with our enemy's most elite soldiers at our doorstep. But what are you suggesting? I don't know. The city is going to be a battlefield anyway. Kill all who oppose us, even if they are members of the general populace. Wow. Go on now. You are needed out there. As you I'm wish. I'm coming for you. May we find fortune in the battle to come. I want to kill her. Not let anyone else do it. Ew! Look at her fucking face. Has turned out to be. I'm bringing that troublesome person along with him. Are you using a body? It would have been much better if he and his sweet little stepsister had been good little children and just killed each other. I feel like this person is part of that team. <laughs> the preparations are all in place. Time to meet my old master. Ready the Titanists in the like streets. She said that. Let's give them a welcome to remember. Oh god, what the hell is that? Jesus! Advance! Uh, Smash that traitor Cornelia and reclaim the capital! Well, we can't just go straight. I will not lose. I swear it by the blood in my veins. Alright, Dimitri.
weren't the tightness enough for you, well then, we had better activate the Viscum. Focus the Viscum. These things are surprisingly tough. Are they being reinforced by magic? If there is magic in use, we should find the source and eliminate it.
It's been a long time, hasn't it, your highness? No, You've is he gonna miss? I'm pretty sure he might. Oh, shameless. I bet it was you who killed my uncle and set me up. Am I right? <laughs> Too true. I had already forgotten about all that loveliness. I'll kill you, you monster. You will pay for all that you have done. This battle is over. Oh, ah! oh she ain't gonna dodge that. Oh, so this is as far as I could get. Well, I mean, you're not dead, but... <laughs> well, so be it. Still, I'll give you a little gift. What? Don't take it. It's over, Cornelia. If you have any last words, now is the time. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> Very well. I have an old tale that I would like you to hear, if I may. About something that happened ten years ago. Something Patricia said about how she wished to see her real daughter again, no matter who or what she had to sacrifice to do so. But and about how I made her wish come true, <laughs> at the cost of the king's head. The king's head? You mean Dusker? So she's the reason? You monster! That Dusker happened? You mean to say that my father, everyone, was killed by my stepmother? Wasn't his stepmother nice to him? <laughs> That's right. Her family meant everything to her. You certainly know that feeling, do you not? <laughs> oh, poor little prince. Unloved by the only mother it's he ever fucked, knew. kind of fucked, because he thought he beautiful. loved her. She loved him. How dare you! <laughs> There's nothing left for you now. Nothing but despair. Are you dying? Or is she dead? I'm assuming she's dead. By the way, she lost breath. Try as that woman might to spout nonsense to her very last, nothing could change the fact that she was an enemy of the kingdom. She sold out Fargus to the Empire, forcing our people to suffer their tyranny. So tiring. But all that ends today. No more blood will be needlessly spilled. Now that Cornelia has fallen, we will exert pressure on the nobles who were aligned with her. Perhaps we may yet find a connection to the tragic incident in Dusker. She told us Once what it was. Once we do though. that, we will finally be able to prove the innocence of its people. Your Highness. I am certain that would make those of Dusker who lost their lives that day very happy. I am grateful, and I am proud to serve a man such as you. Aww. Come, Your Highness. You still have some responsibilities that must be carried out. Your people have been patiently awaiting your return. Do you mean... No. I can't bear to face them after all that I... I'll be with you. We're going. You must face them. We're going. Professor. Right you are, as ever. I am their king, after all. We'll be right behind you. What? What is this? Oh, they're actually cheering for as you. As you can see, <laughs> the people are rejoicing at the return of their king. Wow, it's so bright. Even though I turned my back on them and fled the kingdom in disgrace. Even so... The spectacle before you does not lie. We are a kingdom in need of a king. A hero to save the people from their long oppression. Your Highness, it is truly a blessing that you have returned. Do I really have the right to stand here? Will they accept me as their king? Bloodstained as I am, am I fit to be king? If you atone, all will be forgiven. Don't cry to me, shit. This is a happy time! And I'm not gonna point out that he's crying. Yes. You are right again, my friend. Stop! I'm gonna be more than friends! Again. <laughs> Dimitri. Oh, I missed you. Welcome home. You're home. A friend word. <sighs> it may be spring, mm -hmm. but the nights are quite chilly here in Ferdiad. Oh, what are you doing, Dimitri? Still, our celebratory feast shows no sign of stopping. Have you grown weary of the festivities? Uh, I was going to ask you the same. It's not that I have grown weary. More that I find it difficult to be around everyone at the moment. That's understandable. I have just returned from visiting the graves of my loved ones. Mm. It had been a long while since I left flowers. I was always terribly afraid of going near there. 
but I could not stay away forever. You have taught me something important, Professor. Hmm. Seriousness, swordsmanship, humor, humor. <laughs> <laughs> you never let up, do you? No. What I am referring to is far more valuable. Hmm. How should I put this? What is it? Perhaps it is most accurate to say that you taught me how to live. Wow, that's if an you important and I lesson. If not reunited on that fateful day, I am certain I would have died a fruitless death on the battlefield. I would have foolishly challenged a horde of foes, and in doing so, needlessly sacrificed the lives of my friends and myself. But now I have returned to my rightful place. I struggle with what to say when I know well that words are not enough to express my gratitude. A hug with you, you saved me from the darkness and guided me back to the light. Thank you, Professor. With all that I am, I thank you. Mm. Are you happy? That is a hard question to answer. I still do not believe I deserve happiness. These hands of mine have taken so many lives. Nobles and commoners, <laughs> he looks at his hands. adults and children. Perhaps a day will come when I have finally atoned for my sins. But such a day is not possible until after the war is over. But I digress. For tonight, our only focus should be to bask in our victory. After that, we must prepare for our battle with the Empire. <sighs> to start, we must absorb the Kingdom Knights taken by the Dukedom into our own forces and reshuffle our troops. The Lords will need to help purge our territory of Imperial forces. And I will use my authority as king to gather forces from various regions. And we'll have to ask the merchants to lend us the funds we require. Oh, and we must request delivery of supplies at once. That's a lot. That's a lot. That so sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about it all makes my head spin. I'm not gonna tell him good luck with that. There what the is hell? much to do, but it is all critical work if we hope to stand a chance against the Empire. Uh, is there no way to coexist with Empire? Hell no. You will soon face Edward. Yes, I am well aware. I believe we have spoken of this before. Everyone has something they simply cannot accept. As for Edelgard, I am certain she will never be able to accept the Church of Seros. I believe that is why she seeks to destroy it. She is looking to revolutionize the world, in her mind, for the better. But even if she manages to birth a new world, it would be at the cost of... Millions <sighs> of lives. I wish to end this war through acceptance, not annihilation. Just as my people accepted me, I wish dearly to accept her. But I fear... It's too late. Your Highness, I finally found you. Ah, Damn. I'm sorry for slipping away. Has something happened? An express messenger just arrived from the leader of the Alliance. Please, return to the castle at once. What do they want? An express messenger? What in the world could Claude be after? Yeah, Claude, you try way. to fight me. Professor, please, join me. Oh, of course. Yeah, let's go. The fuck Claude want? He tried to kill me multiple times. Part 2. Oh. Azure Moon. Garland Moon. The Golden Deer's Plea. Oh, they're pleading? They need help? I mean, they helped us before, we'll help them again. The Kingdom Army has reclaimed the Kingdom Capital and plans to immediately begin restoring the country and its forces. But an unexpected request arrives from Claude, leader of the Leicester Alliance. Let's just work together, bro. Dimitri promptly responds to the request for aid and he rushes to prepare the Kingdom's forces. Oh, okay, so we are helping him. We have received a request for aid from the Alliance. They are being invaded by the Empire. Oh. We have only just taken back Ferdiad, and yet I am already asking all of you to move out once more. Please accept my apologies for that. That's no problem at all. More importantly, how is the Alliance faring? House Regan has rallied the Alliance Lords. They are facing the enemy with all the strength they can muster. But we do not know how far that will get them. It seems the enemy's relentless attacks have forced them into a tough situation. Their defeat at Grondor severely weakened the Alliance. I imagine the Empire now intends to destroy them before they can recover. To think they'd watch us chase their soldiers out of the Kingdom capital, then immediately go invade the Alliance. I mean... Their general is Lord Volkard von Arendelle. 
He serves as regent to I'm the ready to beat the fuck up Hubert. He has presumably taken command after the Emperor was wounded in Grandeur. He is known for his shrewdness and excels not only in domestic affairs, but tactics as well. He is not an opponent we should take lightly. Lord Arundel. Are you concerned? Isn't that your uncle? I always suspected that Lord Arundel was behind the tragedy nine years ago. The timing of his departure from the kingdom, the fact that he abruptly stopped making donations. Too many factors made him suspect. Oh, that's if Lord what Arundel saying. conspired with Cornelia, then what Cronia and the others said five years ago. Mm. Well, never mind that for now. The Alliance needs our help. What are your thoughts? We're going to help. If we turn our back on the Alliance and then dare Drew Falls, it will undoubtedly make our situation difficult further down the road. We would have enemies in two directions. In the Alliance to the northeast, and in the Empire to the south. Well, we gotta have claws. That's true. In that scenario, we would not be able to safely march our soldiers to Envar. I am terribly worried about Lady Rhea, but I believe we must save the Alliance first. Oh, maybe if we do this, the Alliance will help us out in return. We could ask them to help us attack the Empire. You know, a sneak attack or something. Annie, when did you become so devious? <laughs> What would your mother think? What? <laughs> it wasn't that devious. I think it's a good what idea. What do you think, Professor? Because if we're helping the Alliance, now the Alliance has to help us. Because, you know, the Empire is attacking the Alliance. Uh, let's march for... Der... 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 der I don't know where the fuck that is. So, I, I'm supporting whatever Demetria decides. Because I can't remember names for shit. must go to Der <laughs> All right. We'll I mean, he's our highness something anyway. to be gained for us as well, for when we eventually march south. But far more importantly, they need us. We cannot turn our backs on them. They helped us once, so... We will arrange to head out at once. Prepare yourselves, everyone. Sylvain's so birthday? Fuck yeah, hosting a party. Birthday tea thing, sorry. Um, would you like some... Hey, hey. Uh, sorry for the wait, Professor. It's okay. Thank you so much. Delicious. <laughs> what should we talk about? Someone you look up to? Really? What the fuck, man? Yeah. Dating ex escapades? I knew you were gonna like that shit. <laughs> hmm? Guessing someone's age? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, it wasn't a perfect, but it's okay. Thank you for the treat, Professor. I'd like to do this again sometime. You're welcome. Happy birthday. All right, as you can see, we are here, but we are not going to do anything because I have to uh, end, <laughs> end the game for today. So we're going to save right here. Oh, there's more. S Wait, I never watch the supports actually, right? Yeah, I never did. So we have to do that the next time I'm off. Cause tomorrow I go back to work. I don't know how many chapters there are. I'm assuming there's probably like 24 just because 12 and 12. So this time we're going through it pretty quick just because we don't have to talk to literally every student in the entire campus but thank you guys for watching stay beautiful and i'll see you guys in the next one